Hello, welcome to uh, the North American Phonograph Company. Um, this is our dual, new du dual purpose recording instrument. Uh, I'm using the Kanawat model right now because I put three new springs in my Triumph bottom. I actually have my Triumph actually set up like it should. It's actually set up as a Triumph, as you see. It is a proper Triumph phonograph. So, uh, going back over here to our recording device over here. So, um, let's record something. Nope, oh, we don't want that. Uh, here we go. Aha! <laughs> We've made much improvements on our blanks in the last couple months. Uh, I've been working on these things since 2000. Is when I first started making phonogram blanks. Uh, you can kind of look and see how authentic they look. Um, if you notice, they have the... They just look authentic. Nice rounded end. Nice chamfered end shiny, quiet surface. Uh, every day I find something new that uh, uh, improves the quality of the blank. You're going to find that the articulation is unbelievably clear. So I'll just do a little quick demonstration record here. Uh, this machine is also capable of concert records. Uh, I don't have any concert blanks at this time. However, it has a slip on mandrel so that you can slip on the concert blank. So we're going to record a little, uh, just a test. We are going to demonstrate the clear recording qualities of the new blank and the recorder. The recorder is an original studio recorder from some professional recording studio between 1903 and probably 1910. It could be from Albany Indestructible Company, the U.S. Uh, record company, they you know they made the everlasting records. It might be Columbia or it might be Edison. Those are the major producers of cylinder records in that era in the United States. And as far as I know, this recorder most likely is from the United States. We are using a seven and a half thousandths of an inch glass diaphragm a neoprene bottom gasket and both sides of it are coated with a thin layer of rubber cement to uh, cement the diaphragm in place. The cutting stylus is attached to the center with beeswax. She sells seashells by the seashore. And then if you're doing an old Uncle Josh recording well, a long last winter about corn shucking time. Or, let's say you were doing uh, this one old guy. I got a pal, a regular old Tindalta. She's a dear good old pal. And I'll tell you all about her. Eight many years since first we met. Her hair was plain as black as jet. It's white her now. Still she don't fret. Not my old gal. We've been together now for 40 years. So that's a little demonstration. So we're now going to put it on the playback machine. Those are the major producers of cylinder 
record in that era in the United States. And as far as I know, this recorder most likely is from the United States. We are using a seven and a half thousandth of an inch glass diaphragm, a neoprene bottom gasket, and both sides of it are coated with a thin layer of rubber cement to uh, cement the diaphragm in place. The cutting stylus is attached to the center with beeswax. She sells seashells by the seashore. And then if you're doing an old Uncle Josh recording, well, a long last winter about horn chucking time. Or let's say you were doing uh, this one old guy. I got a pal, a regular old Sedalta. She's a dear good old pal. And I'll tell you all about her. It many years since first we met. Her hair was lean as black as jet. It winds her mouth till she don't fret. Not my old gal. We've been together now for 40 years. So that's our little demonstration.